Okay, this is going to be some base texture creation process uh, for 3D modeling, but it can be applied in a lot of ways to 2D. Um, that's why I'm not going to have a 3D UV set that I paint on, but uh, I wanted to go over a couple of different types of textures. So um, this first one's going to be kind of a, a cleanup of bronze here. Uh, the image itself, you should always check your image sizes. It's fairly large, but I'm not 100% sure. I want to use it on um, uh, some books, like, uh, uh, I want a weird, not books, but uh, there's a bookshelf, um, kind of envisioning something like that really cool uh, chained up bookshelf from Doctor Strange. Uh, that was really neat. So maybe something kind of shiny metal that'll go on like a lattice work that holds books kind of thing is sort of the idea. Um, but this texture, it needs some work, right? And I like to hand paint on a lot of things, so I'm going to kind of go over the hand paint process. I like this a lot, but it also needs tweaking so that when I go to make um, when I go to make a, a, a normal map out of it, and when I go to make a spec map, that it doesn't go crazy. You can see actually that probably there's not a lot of shine on these dark spots. That'll probably work fine for the spec map. Um, we don't want this. We don't want this. We don't want any of these shiny bits. So let's just start off with some real. Uh, <laughs> start off with some real lazy. Oh, could not use. Oh, sorry. Uh, real lazy um, spot healing. Let's see what we get. Huh. All right, that's pretty acceptable. Oh, Photoshop. All right, this down here is probably going to take a little more effort. So let's go ahead and do. Um, let's make this a layer. Let's do a duplicate layer here. And let's make that. Oh, I don't know. Probably maybe a screen. Thing is, I'm not gonna need most of this. Ooh, that's pretty good right there, that color dodge. Let's go ahead and softly get my soft eraser in here. And tone that down a bit, the opacity way down. So I just want to lightly fuzz those pieces in. There we go. So now I've kind of cleared it up and made a fair one piece sort of. Metal. It is still really bright over here. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and do another duplicate and see if we can't balance that side up too. Alright, delete that and let's give this. Mm, this one's going to be tougher because that's pretty bright shine over there. Nah. It's a little darker. To select and let's lightly erase in. Get rid of those edges in there. See, because these lights and darks through here are going to really push around the uh, the normal map. It's going to make it very bendy. 
which isn't particularly what we want, but I like the variation of color nonetheless. I'm going to go with it. Um, so, um, this one isn't really hand painted in any way, but it would maybe be worth it to consider at this point. What, what am I going to do with this, right? So this is sort of just like a flat texture I can throw around. It definitely is not offset well. It won't offset. Um, it probably could a little bit. I'll give it like a, just a simple lazy offset. Because I don't really, I don't really care. Because I'm not, I'm going to just take pieces of it I think anyway. So a lot of this won't probably matter once I, um... Yeah, once I get in there, I'm probably just going to snip chunks and pieces. Um, so, pretty much this one is done. I really just like this piece overall, so I'm not really that interested in doing too much crazy stuff to it, to be honest. But, um, you know what I will do? I will duplicate it and then make like a new layer to start doing some cool effects to it um, so that I can have like other pieces for it ready uh, and um, some of those things that I, I think could be neat is like kind of a darkening in areas so if you take say um, a section of this right and that's what I'm gonna want to do anyway is kind of section pieces off so let's go ahead and take a section and start with sort of a gradient tool or um, yeah let's gradient that and let's sample mm, a light and the dark is fine oh yeah off to nothing that's that's good that's kind of what I wanted Get screen, color dodge, lighten. It's pretty potent. That will be nice for a number of different weird things. See? These nice little color shades in here. I just leave this as a reminder that I want it to be lighter at the top and darker towards the bottom. I think I want to put like little pieces of light. This doesn't have a lot of concept to it yet. I was just thinking of what kind of metal to a place in there. Um, but yeah, this overlay, I'll leave it as a reminder. Uh, um, light, lighting, setup, um, and I will maintain this uh, this will be like a first part video and I'll show how this is gonna play in effect like if it's lighter at the top of the metal you know then I can kind of you know there's gonna I know there's gonna be a, like uh, some kind of candle or something like that up there lighting the area and then as it gets lower on the metal will get darker and I like these I like these rich colors that are happening here which will be good for that um, so really I'm just kind of like playing with this and making samples so let's say I want um, what will the maybe the highlight edgings be like? Um, this is another thing where I can probably grab the overlay. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's say, my brush here. Now this would be like on the edge of posts and such for it. Let's grab that. So it's mm, maybe not bright enough. Uh, multiply. No, sorry. Lighten. Hmm. I want overlay to be it, but I think it's too dark. I think it's gonna have to be like a a screen. And I think that screen's gonna have to be one of these colors. Yeah. So, or maybe even this one. This is a really pretty color. We could probably do that with the overlay now. 
Yeah, let's grab one of these, sample that. Now, see, because we've now made a lighter and a darker sort of sample patch that we can use. So I'll just use that. And if I want to play with, uh, I've got a lot of brushes here. So let's grab some grunge pieces. And I can start kind of playing with these. I want this, let's turn this brush up. Get like little bits and pieces in there that we can kind of lay out. Um, and I can swap to the darker ones too to get a little extra crack. See how these dark here, they'll match up with my dark pieces. See? I can just fit them in anywhere I want and start to build up my own kind of. Uh, cracks and junks and all I have to really use is like sort of the light and the dark aspects see um, so what I really want eh, this is just a cool this is just always a cool brush what I really want here though and this is for diffuse I'm playing with color and diffuse mostly color maps um, let's go to my brush presets because they show it a little better I want a nice little edge piece which is sometimes harder to find in my pack that's huge. All these little pieces. It helps to have a nice solid brush pack to work with. Paint spatters, huh? Looks pretty cool too. Mm-hmm. come back to those. Those are pretty pretty cool. Now, what I want is something more rusted. Ooh, that's really nice. Alright, so I kind of, I'm going to sort of filter this one around a bit, right? And then it can kind of come through. And if you make uh, your eraser brush, sort of the similar brush to what you're working with, grab one of these cool textures with it. It's going to have a lot of nice effect here. Ooh, that's a bit much. That is a bit much. That is intense. Rust set. Tiny rust sets. This is all my rust sets that I wanted. Yeah. So now I definitely probably want to grab that one as an eraser. 316. Okay. Because so I can kind of come in here and turn that eraser on up so that it'll actually work. Look at that. Um, we get this nice blend here. Right? And then if I really need it, I can always come back through and just sort of increase that. Um, probably not too much more increase. We could increase it with like a, oh, probably a screen. That's very repetitive right there. So I probably wanna not do that. Mm. I don't want that. I barely want this. Ooh, it's really pretty though, very vibrant. Just one time screen. There we, go. we can kind of tone that down too. Or we could, again, go back with the eraser. Just slightly touch through, right? It's got some searing edges to it, see? So now I've got this nice sort of glow streak bit where the, the lighting's really working like all these colors are really working and that's because I have a nice little color swatch here to help me kind of sample out things all right so we'll call this um, uh, searing edge idea I'm just labeling these like this is this these are all just concepts right I'm just concept in here right but um I like that a lot. So now let's do another layer. Let's go ahead and uh, let's slap these 
into a group. No, I'll leave them out, it's fine. Let's make another one. Uh, let's. The idea here, I want maybe like a, a corner piece, right? Like what happens when it hits like an edge, right? Um, oh, what am I going to do then? I kind of almost could go back to the overlay, to be honest, and play with it. Now that I have sort of a, a methodology. About darkening area. What about something like? Uh... Oh man, it'd be cool to kind of add some runes or something. It'd be neat because it's supposed to be kind of like a magic library kind of idea. It's a little too dark, but I like that. You know what? That gives me an idea. See, just a quick little skirmish through here gives me an idea let's go back to the brushes and as much as I am loath to change this brush actually this is a pretty cool brush let's uh let's go ahead and make a new brush preset and we'll call this one hmm, decay huh decay um bronze make bronze maker I do like that um so now I got my decay bronze maker down here. Hard around 19 pixels. What's this brush got going on? It's got some smooth, some shape. All right, time to break out the pen tool. We want a little more. got it. It's got it. Cool. That's perfect. All right, good. This brush is already set. So let's go ahead and um, let's see what happens when we start to do a little bit of paint over. We'll go to the overlay. It's already in. So I'll zoom on in a little. And I will adjust the opacity on this to like a 30% or something. Because all I really want to do here now is sort of like paint edges. Hmm. Not sure if I'm feeling that. Ah! Transfer. Let's get some of that in there. There we go. This almost feels like an edgy corrosion of pieces. highlights the edges of it a bit more. I'm going to kind of work some of those in. This is sort of a more of a realistic painting kind of effect. But it will sort of like um, emphasize all of the edges that are going on here. And it does require a bit of light back and forth touch with the brush. Now I've got kind of like a crumbly, it really looks more like a rock now, kind of a rocky effect here. Make the brush real big and kind of gently highlight. It's, it's a cool effect that could be useful, sort of uh, for making giant, like making holes and such. Now the, the problem with this is that, um, <clears throat> I mean this actually works really well. This right here, this approach is perfect for making nice bump maps and textures like because the bump map is going to interpret all these lights and darks really well these are not because this is just a lighting effect up here on on this area um and it's it's going to interpret this as being like really bumpy so that's why you want to keep all these sort of separate 
because this is really just like a color effect that you're adding and this is just like a cool seam effect that will really add but you don't want to make it look like there's a big bumpy seam there um, so anyway let's save this this is kind of coming along with a lot of interesting ideas um this is basically i'm just trying to again just sketching out concepts um bronze concepting and let's grab another one real quick hmm floors maybe uh, let's mess with this door this will require a lot more painting on I think this is sort of a lot more going on I'm gonna paint on it more anyway um, something about this sort of door I want it to be kind of like off hanging out in the background and I'll have to model some parts of it so this might need some dismantling but for now I can kind of play with the ideas on it and kind of maybe um like revisit what I'd like to maybe see on it um so let's try just lean into it a bit kick that brush opacity up some let's grab the dark one let's see what we get this here this right here would not work without more paint concept on it. So if I want to turn this into a bump mat, it's not going to work. Not going to work unless I come in here and start doing it up some other way. So I'm going to just sort of simplify this a bit. I don't even like all this. I don't even like any of this. I'm going to let's just kill this whole thing. All right, so we'll take it. We'll keep sort of those edges as much as we can. And let's just paint bucket fill this in. And um, let's do a different design to it. Try and keep with sort of the uh, the rest of the color. So I'm just going to color our sample out. Um, <clears throat> I do like all these little bolts, but I don't think it needs one here. And it probably does need... Okay. Um, so let's do a, let's do a whole new little layer. I'm just going to sketch out something real rough. Kind of use it like it's a um, do a little bit of a sort of a mapping sort of approach to this. So it's like a topographical map that I'll fill in with colors here. Because it's supposed to be an etching, right? I'm only doing one half uh, because I'll just I'll just copy paste it. Ooh, I still have this cool brush from my eraser. <laughs> Let's shift that back since we're kind of doing some paint ups now. Hard round. Just a simple hard round eraser brush. Okay. Alright. Alright, so looks like there's probably enough detail. So let's start sampling some of that out. lower pieces uh -huh. wherever there's these edges we can kind of put these in I'm just trying to kind of get this 
to flow right at first, right? Coat as much as possible while kind of maintaining what I've got going on here. in there. Eighty percent is still pretty light, huh? So let's mix in some of this. Realize that it doesn't look like this just yet, but the color palette's the same, so I'm maintaining at least sort of the right color sets for it. Let's back it up a little bit. And I kind of want something that's a little different in there for the eyes, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Let's get some of this green in here. So I think that green's interesting. And a little more of this deep. So really all you're trying to do is just sort of sketch out and fill in colors. Don't worry about keeping your lines too too clean. I mean you want them, but you um you want this overall mess of um some orange all right it's probably about time to go in here and add in a duplicate right let's go ahead and duplicate So copy paste it, and let's go ahead and flip that. Mm, it's a little tight, so let's widen that out a bit. And I drop that down, and I'm going to kind of paint in here anyway. Although that line is kind of neat. Makes it feel like it was, in fact, kind of painted in. But uh, I don't think I want that, so I'm going to get rid of it. Remember, it's got to be a little bit diverse. It's not supposed to be... not supposed to be the same because it's been eroded over the years kind of thing. here because now we're starting to see where the edges are supposed to be so I can use some highlight and we could probably use a little more intense highlights so let's get some of this really bright effect in here Um, 
Oops. Nope. Alright, probably ready for... Man, these gotta be adjusted just a bit. And actually what they really need is a bit of really dark in there. That's too much. This is 80%. This is still being a bit of a pain. Let's go a little bit darker, even. This in here. Highlights are going to be useful for when you take it over to maybe try and crazy bump this. <laughs> it's going to be a little crazy. The crazy bump is going to be crazy. All right. So uh, it's still not quite what I'm 100% looking for. Um, obviously. So I'm going to make another layer. Let's call this one the um, the color or color. Door panel colors, something like that. Um, this one will be the um, the bronze bronze grunge. All right. So now actually, let's get that door panel piece. that up a bit and kind of get these little highlights on here too because this really is supposed to be kind of lifted up right let's try um, a much brighter but lower opacity so I don't want to lose much detailing in there. no nope. all right new plan bronze grunge back to it we are going to grab a number of these grunge pieces that I've got in here. They are somewhere. Rust. You're not leaving that normal. Oh, no, you were wrong. Oh, let's kick these up to 100%. Need something that really sells it. I know I can get it with this. I'm just not sure how to yet. Even the normal is pretty light with that, which I wasn't expecting. Let's 
come back in here and erase some of this out. Alright, so what I'm doing now is just placing little bits and pieces everywhere. Ooh, what's this? This is a really big brush. That's too big of a brush. now at this point, I mean, I, I want to keep placing all these lovely little rust pieces everywhere, for sure, um, to really sell it and make adjustments, but I also will want to do a touch-up. And keep in mind that um, I need to go probably go back and do um, not just a touch-up, but probably like a a touch up um, bump that will kind of account for things that I don't want being extra bumped um, and a touch up this is like a touch up uh, color that's probably what this one would be right um, and what that's gonna look like is I'm gonna go on in here and I'm gonna go back to oh, these brushes very nice uh, let's grab Where's that little? I got a lot of little hard rounds, hard round 20. Ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, I can use that. So this touch up is gonna be more about sort of um, selling these highlight points and the low lights, right? So this is pure hand painting at this point. to solidify the edges. I think all these have edges, everything here has edges, I want these to have edges. They might even end up being a little more sharp than they need to be. I 
I'm kind of using just sort of a general where should they go kind of placement. Very kind of classic uh, texture paint work. Right, if we get that grunge back in there. And I'd probably want to do that a little bit with everything, too. Hmm. A lot of work for an image that is probably too small. That's nah, okay, I guess. Wow, 300 resolution. Wow, that's impressive. Alright, always check your resolutions. But yeah, kind of hit these edges, too. Um, I could probably even come in here with this touch-up, which is more of a highlight, to be honest. Screen... that color dodge. And we can tone that down just a bit. It's beautiful. Yeah. That looks really good. I'm going to kind of go through this whole thing then. And uh, there's all sorts of little niches. See how there's like a little tiny cut here? I'm just going to keep highlighting and edging everything. This, this is a full-on hand paint up here. It's a lot of work, but, um, you know, it's hopefully, it's impressive, right? Um, hopefully it comes across as very, like, definite passion. It's a definite kind of style, for sure. Um, not all games want to spend the effort to do something like this. And this is just going to be, it's not even a game I'm making, I'm just making a cool environment that I want to see. So you now see how it's all starting to blend? The more I kind of repeat my process throughout, the more I get this. And, um, I'll just keep going. So that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I can come back in also with a um, a dark effect. Like this won't do much here. It's all it's all light. But um, let's call this one um, highlight. That's what it should be. And then I'd probably want also a. Oh, what brush is this? This is a fantastic little brush. Let's go ahead and save this. Um, brush. New brush preset, I'll call this one. Um, gritty highlight. I like it. I like that brush a lot. Gritty highlight, my decay bronze maker now, right? It's my spanner sketch. Alright, um, and then we could also do it with the um, shadows as well, of course, right? Uh, but that's, that's going to be a different approach then. And we'd want that to be something else. So you could emphasize sort of the the shadowing going on in everything, right? Mm, hard light usually looks pretty good for that stuff because the, the idea is you're not you're not killing your detail. See, when I put this over something, you still kind of see what's happening underneath it. Yeah, this brush is like a total little spatter brush. It's it's pretty awesome. I'm in love with it. Um, all right. See, yeah, the more it starts to kind of blend into itself, and uh, that's kind of um, sort of this really intense process that I'm trying to use here now, and you can see from the start and it doesn't work and maybe it would work with that not it. I probably don't need this little back panel might be worth it not to have the back panel on 
I think it is, though. Yeah, definitely. Let's keep that on there. But yeah, so there you go. And that is, uh, that's sort of that process for making some really detailed texture work and really painting. It's a paint over, but it's, it's making it yours from the texture sets and really doing something different to them. So, good luck. <laughs>